Hey guys, I'm in uh, Mercedes, Texas. Spelled like Mercedes Benz. And I'm at the uh, Texas Department of Texas Health and Human Services Department. And I want to see what's going on. I'm curious about what's happening uh, with my government, my local city, my local state government. So I believe this is a state office. And I want to see what these guys are doing with my tax dollars as it pertains to the coronavirus. Um, so let's see if they uh, respect the First Amendment, even in light of everything that's happening in the world. Texas Health and Human Services Office. I'm going to try something I've never done before, which is experience the whole audit through the lens of the camera. Uh, for those of you with a little bit of a sharper eye, you probably noticed so many times that I've skipped recording uh, valuable stuff because, oh, thanks, sir, I got it. because I'm so busy experiencing looking at the person and talking to the person. It's kind of more of a respect thing, um, and I end up missing some action, so I'm trying not to do that. It also helps that I have my cell phone today instead of my big camera. Uh, that should actually be even more so making me look through the camera, but it does and it has the opposite effect for some reason. You can, you can record. You can not record here. Are you sure about that? Positive. Can you cite me a law or something? That, uh, isn't this for public consumption? It says it right there. Where at? Okay, I'll, I'll get there in a minute. And so that should make me all the more so do it. But instead, I've been just uh, experiencing it through the camera or just in the real life and not through the camera. So that's what I'm trying to do different now. That's how we're starting, guys. Someone's getting triggered over a camera. <laughs> Hello. This is all put up here for me to read. I'm reading it. It's the same. It's the same difference. In photographs, video, or audio recordings allowed. Okay, you know what I notice is missing from this sign? Respect the privacy of others. That's what it says. They don't. I don't care what you think it's supposed to say. You know what's missing from this sign? You're not supposed to come in here recording anything. You can record me all you want. You're not supposed to come in here recording and disrespect the other people's privacy. You know what's missing from this? Any kind of I've law. Seen people like me. There's I've oh seen people, people like me. me. Oh okay. Oh now you know me all of a sudden. Like y'all know stuff and mm -hmm. you really know. Isn't that what you're doing right now? You acting like you know me? I don't act like I know. You said you've seen people like me. Yeah, what if I said that? Like what if I said that to you? I've seen people like you before. Well, do what you got to do, man. I'm going to do what I got to do. He says he knows people like me. Act like we know something. What are these things up here in the ceiling? These things right here looking at us? I think those might be cameras. You think I can read all this in one sitting? 
Way too much information. Oh, now you don't care. Well, that's the problem. You're supposed to respect everybody's rights. This is true right here. Fraud hurts us all. Just looking for a reaction. I think I already got one if I was. What the gentleman say that came out? Did he say I can record? I think that's what I heard him say. Well, it looks like they're operating at uh, normal capacity, guys. They don't seem to be restricting uh, the amount of people that can come in. So it's just your standard uh, regular business as usual going on here at the Texas Health and Human Services office. And again, we're in Mercedes, uh, Texas. It's spelled like the car, Mercedes. We got a bunch of extra chairs over here. Well, here you go, how to wash your hands. That's a good one. Going on in here. Go ahead, sir. Hey, Mr. Gutierrez, how are you? All right, guys. I think we're good here. All right, well, you have a good day. Thanks for respecting my rights. God, is a guy across the street calling the police? <laughs> Word travels fast in this town. Oh, man. Well, I'm glad the guy was laughing at the end there. Maybe they were laughing at me. That's good. I don't mind being the butt of the jokes. I didn't uh, see it uh, necessary to continue in there for any much longer. I mean, it's, it's kind of boring. Uh, I think I was in there long enough to show that I'm allowed to be in there. What was I going to go next? I was going to go down to this other uh, place. I saw a college academy to totally sealed off with like a warning camera sign all around and everything. I wanted to record that. Oh, no, this is what I wanted to see. I wanted to see a little bit of this water water treatment maybe they got better water here man i'm on this quest about purified water because whoo, my god the water down here is so bad yeah so texas health and human services i believe that the security guard was educated by the gentleman inside um about uh public photography I told him that i'm allowed to record so he had to eat a little bit of crow there. And then something was funny about it. Uh, what I think is funny is that the last place I expected to come across a six foot two, 350 pound black dude uh, would be in the Health and Human Services office in Mercedes, Texas. Usually I'm the only dark skinned dude around. So that was pretty cool. I thought that was neat. Different situation, I'd have been like, yo, What's happening, man? What's going on? What are you, 
what are you doing down in these parts? You know what I mean? Which is kind of racist to say. I mean, and maybe if you're white, it is. But I'm just kind of like, I mean, like, yo, like, what's what's keeping you here? You know what I'm saying? Like, why are you in this part of the country? I mean, it's not that there's no black people here at all. It's just there's not that many. And it's predominantly a Hispanic uh, culture, Mexican-American or Hispanic-American. Um, or just people who, you know, second, third generation, born and raised here their whole life. They just happen to be of, uh, you know, Hispanic descent like I am way back when. So, uh, yeah, anyway, that was good. That was a short and sweet little visit to the Health and Human Services office. I recorded as much of the flyers as I could. He said he thinks he knows me. He's seen me on face, seen people like me on Facebook and on YouTube acting like we know something. I guess he thinks we're actors. Now, this looks like a jail or something over here. Let me check this out. This is interesting, but I'll pause so you guys don't have to don't have to go through this. Or maybe I should leave it up for my number one fan who likes me to record brushes and trees. Well, we can't say they're wasting our money with this vehicle. This thing has been around for a while, so that's a good use of our tax dollars there. We got an interested government worker already looking at us. Trying to figure out what she's doing. She is so close to saying something. Yeah, this is the back of a jail or police department. Oh, look at this. We went from the frying pan into the, uh, how do they say that? From the frying pan into the something or other. Yeah, this is some kind of jail. You can tell by the, by the gates. Birds of Paradise, what is that? Isn't that a, isn't that a flower? Isn't there a flower called Birds of Paradise? I just saw something that looked like it said paradise and it made me think of that. Sorry, random thoughts. This looks like an old, old style police car right here. So that lady was trying to get the best description she could of me so she can call it in as soon as she gets back to her desk. She was out for a little healthy walk. Doors propped open, cars parked all different kind of ways. I'm guessing they don't get too many visitors with cameras, except on special occasions when they have three months advance notice. Yeah, doors are never supposed to be propped open in a jail. That's uh, jailhouse etiquette 101, propped open doors. Even if it's a door that can open from the outside, sorry, from the inside, it don't matter. It's not supposed to be open from the outside. Um, and that's what having it propped open does. It allows anyone who wants to, not that they're supposed to or they're allowed to, but anyone who wants to could just walk right in there. Guys, this is one of the few occasions where I'm going to say this city needs more of our money, man. Um, you know, I, <laughs> I think that there's two different ways to look at it. I think when a city has all brand new stuff, everything is fixed, all the vehicles are new, um, it makes me think, boy, you know, times must be really good. I guess we're feeding stray animals here. That's probably a city code violation right outside the police department. Doesn't mean they're doing it, but it's right outside the police department. Here's some more over here. Do they just do this for their canine dogs? That's not very nice, they just throw it on the floor. Now, I'm not a, what would be the word? So this is a handicapped parking space right here. See, so you guys can see it. Handicapped space right there, and we got this, uh, SG6 plate 1330958 uh, police vehicle that is and it says in there EMW 2014 SS00029 radio so that's the call sign for that radio 
um, 133-0958. And if you guys can see, he's not only parked in the handicapped spot, but this ramp is for wheelchairs. This ramp is supposed to be for wheelchairs. And although if you're coming from that side, you might be able to maneuver it. You're going to bump off this curb right here. That'll be a little bumpy ride. But especially those really wide ones for people who are extra large, uh, they won't have enough room. So I think I'm going to go in there and ask about this. See what uh, see what they have to say about the police car that's blocking one three three zero nine five eight. So I'm just gonna get a few more shots and I'm gonna go in there and ask them about that vehicle that's that police car that's blocking the. Okay, anyway, get back to my point. So sometimes it makes you think, man, times was really good. They're getting a lot of our money, maybe too much. They're buying all brand new vehicles, new buildings, but then you get a case like this where it's like <laughs> it looks like they really need. Uh, new vehicles they need um, infrastructure does that mean that they need more of our tax dollars the times are kind of rough for them or does it mean that the corruption is so bad that they're pocketing all the money and got nothing to show for it someone's just lining their pockets but we're not getting the new vehicles that we need we're not getting the police officers that supposedly we need um, you know what I mean so it's kind of a six in one and half a dozen in another. For police assistance, pick up the telephone at window. Okay, we're gonna do that. We're asking about this vehicle. Oh. Hello. Do I still need to pick up the phone somewhere? Do I need to pick up the phone somewhere or do I just talk to you? Are you wanting to speak to an officer? Not necessarily. Okay, what do you, what do you need? So I just noticed, I'm just doing some public photography outside. I wasn't even gonna come in. Um, but I noticed that this police patrol car is blocking, first of all, it's parked in a handicapped spot. And second of all, it's blocking the little ramp. So if someone's in a wheelchair, they actually can't get up or down. So let's say I pulled up right now, I'm in my wheelchair and I'm fully expecting my police department is going to have access for handicapped people. That patrol vehicle is preventing me from coming in. I was able to come in, but if I was in a wheelchair, I would not have been able to, especially if I was just by myself. So whoever's patrol car that is. Uh, it's on my video. It's like SG6 or something. One three three zero nine five eight was the license plate. Okay, I'll go ahead and let them know. Yeah, if you could, that'd be good. Cause I, like I'm saying, it could, you know, that could keep someone from uh, from from getting into the police department to uh, to to get to get services. Uh, your name, sir? Uh, I don't want to leave my name. I'm just I'm just reporting something that I noticed. That's all. Okay. Thank you. Hey, all right, thanks. You got another driver's license? For I what? I got a call that you're in the back of the PD inside the property recording. And you need a driver's license for that? Yes, sir. Well, you're on the property recording. On what property? On the property of the... And building. where are you getting this information from? Well, someone called it in. Oh, okay. Well, they're wrong. So... Can I... I do you have identification? What crime do you suspect me of committing? Well, you can't be on I, I pay for this property, first of all. So if I want to go on the property, I can. That's number one. Mm -hmm. But number two, that's wrong information. So I'm well, sorry someone made no, a false call. That's, no, that's what I'm here just to... You should identify them and find out why they're reporting well, things they that aren't correct. Out, yeah. Okay. Well, sorry. Good. You can conduct your investigation, but I'm not required to participate. But Fair. I need to identify you. That's you need or I'm required by law? You're Are you familiar you need, with 3802? Yes, sir. What law have I broken? You need. I need to identify. What law have I broken you that requires me? Law, but I'm asking. So then I'm declining. I'm going to say no, and you have a good day unless I'm detained. You're not detained. Okay, then have a good day. Go. Okay. Appreciate it. Please move this police car. It's blocking the handicap ramp. Where is it? That's a violation of federal law. Where is it? Right here, sir. If I was handicapped and I was trying to get into your police department, I would not be able to because this vehicle is blocking it. And that's a federal law that they're violating. It's the Americans with Disabilities Act. How can I get in here with a, with a wheelchair if this police vehicle is blocking me? That's what I went in there to report. And I was not on the property even though it's my property. I pay for it. Have a good day. SG6 is the unit number. inside the property 
she's talking about the parking lot here. That's all she's talking about. She's trying to make it seem like I went inside the Sally port there. And if I had, it's wide open. What the hell do they expect me to do? Knuckleheads. Secure your building, Mercedes police. Secure your building. Shut these gates. Okay, if you don't want people going onto your property. Give me a break. I need you to ID. You ain't getting nothing, buddy. You can't articulate a law that I've broken and I'm not detained, but I'm supposed to show you my ID? Get out of town. That's loco. So let's get these gates shut, guys, and let's get that vehicle moved. Clean this place up, man. Don't make me come back here again. See my building in, sh in shambles like this, violating federal law. And you're going to ask me for ID for having a camera? Whatever, bro. He's not going to let it go. He's not going to let it go. If he's smart, he will. He's going to go talk to his sergeant about it. And you didn't get his ID? Go get him. Scoop him up. I'm going to continue on, guys. I'm not breaking any laws. Here, let me let you write a report about something that didn't happen. Here's my ID. Put it down that uh, a citizen complained that I was on the property and put it in there as suspicious. Now, for the rest of my natural born life, every time I encounter police, that pops up. Oh, this person was involved in an incident with Mercedes police. He's listed as a person of interest, as a suspicious person. This guy's having his own little smoke break here, which is fine. I don't mind that. The only thing that kind of bothered me about smoke breaks was that I didn't get them because I didn't smoke. So they add, they add up. At the end of the day, they're getting like an extra 30 minutes break. I didn't get any. Have a good day, sir. You too, man. No sense in being nasty. I told you that girl called on me. The healthy looking one. She's the one that called on me. Uh, these two towns are really close to each other, and sometimes there's an overlap. Um, so that was the Mercedes chapter of the Texas Health and Human Services building, and the continuation was the Mercedes Police Department, and a failed attempt at IDing me.